In this video, I will reflect on my experiences improvising within Next Level Playing, particularly during Level 5. In my previous improvising video, I used a very analytical approach to improvising, really thinking about the notes that should sound good based on the chords in the backing track. And I think this was a very helpful approach to prevent ending up with a mess of notes from a scale. But in Level 5, I tried to let go of this analytical approach because you don't want to think all the time about what you're playing. In level 5 of next level playing, there's a lot of material. So there's also a lot of things that you can try to implement in your improvising sessions. What about including arpeggios? Or techniques to make chord progression sound more funky, like slides? But at a certain moment, I felt I was trying to include all of these techniques in my improvising, while the course was just teaching improvising using the Dorian mode. Without the course telling me, I was using the ideas and techniques it was teaching in a musical setting. And I also discovered skill patterns of the Dorian mode other than the ones the course is actively teaching. These are good things. But what I do feel is that I lost a bit of this analytical improvising. Where I previously tried to actively come up with melodies, I now focused on techniques, new techniques, rather than melodies. Unfortunately, it often felt like it ended up playing a scale up and down, trying to force in a certain technique which often didn't really sound good as part of improvising. I kind of think I was just making it too complicated, trying to be too interesting in my improvising. And later, when I was listening to music, I realized that melodies are often actually rather simple. It's okay to use the same note multiple times in a row, and it's also fine to use um, to make a melody out of just a few individual notes. And a lot of melody is also in the rhythm. So you could play notes in smaller and smaller subdivisions, but what I actually mean is rest. Like you can have a few seconds, a few beats of rest uh, during your improvising, while the backing track will just continue. So for this video, I thought it would be fun and interesting to just go through one of my improvising sessions. And I didn't cut out the good parts, um, this is just the whole thing, so you can see how I'm improvising, what's going well and what, what isn't going well, well, whatever. Let's just get started. So the first pause, we have been listening now for one minute of my improvising and well, I think it sounds quite okay. It's nothing spectacular, nothing really with a nice melodic idea, but it's okay. Now let's see how it continues. So another pause. Uh, yeah, I want to move on. I, I want to do something else. But what exactly? Where am I going? It just doesn't really sound coherent anymore. And I guess this is what I mean when talking about just playing a mess of scales, a mess of notes from a scales, just some, some notes, but without any melodic idea behind it. And 
now you could hear that I managed to get out of this again, by playing a melodic idea, repeating it a few times with a variation. Well that, in my opinion at least, sounds, sounds pretty good. And again, I don't really know what we've been listening to the past minute. It just doesn't really sound right. I'm clearly looking for something interesting. But I think this is exactly one of those moments that I think it would have been good to just take quiet for a bit. Get back into the rhythm uh, and choose like a safe note, like a, like a root note of a chord or something to try and, and create a new idea just from that. It gets a bit better later on, but I think we've seen enough by now. And having reviewed a couple of my improvising sessions, this seems to be a bit of a recurring pattern. The first minute is quite okay, it's an okay improvisation, and is probably based on ideas that I had earlier in my improvising sessions. But then I want to move on, like immediately. While it often seems better to just take my time and seek out a new note or pattern to continue improvising on, I mainly seem to have difficulties from transitioning from one idea to creating the next one, which probably isn't that uncommon in improvising. And what's next? Well, I don't know yet what's waiting for me in level 6 of next level playing, but I do know that I want to return to a slightly more analytical approach to improvising. So first of all, I want to prepare a few notes that I can fall back on. And to do that I want to analyze the scale and the chords, and, and to think which notes do I want to emphasize. And secondly, I realize that my rhythmic playing during improvising isn't spectacular. I'm often just using quarter notes, or uh, or eighth notes. Um, but you don't really fix it by including a fancy 16th note pattern or a triplet out of nowhere. And yeah, I've tried. And I think rhythmic patterns themselves are not the magic trick, but I do think that more silence will help me. Not only uh, by giving me more time to come up with new ideas, but a rest as a rhythmic pattern also allows more versatility with melodic ideas in general. Lastly, I want to be more careful using bends and slides as techniques. I really like these techniques. They are for guitar very um, well, iconic techniques, I would say. But in the end, a lick or a melody is just a collection, a sequence of notes, basically. And you can choose to play these notes by using a band, for example, to maybe make it sound more interesting. But to me, using bends or, or slides or, or whatever without a solid melodic foundation often sounds quite silly. And yeah, I am certainly guilty of playing like random out of tune bands when I don't really know what to do, what, what to improvise. So that's exactly why I'm reminding myself of it right now. If you have any feedback on my playing, you can let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.